15 years ago I pulled this car out of a barn I am the one who left it there though and I'm not going to deny that unlike other people you know who you are just claiming to find cars in barns all over the place I don't think there's enough barns in the world um, for people to find the number of cars in them that are rare and untouched for years so I'm fully admitting I found this in a barn but I did put it there so five years before I found it there I put it there so I've had this car about about 15 years it stood waiting for me to do something I haven't spoken to the guy that I got it from for a long time but we'll call him Kevin I'm not sure how long Kevin had the car um, I would have a guess at maybe maybe two to three years um, at least one year so I've almost got the history going back I think 16 years on this car um, I I think this is a 1992 looking at the shell from how it's built um, I've seen roll cages on a couple of other 1992 cars um, very similar so I, I think this is around that era I could be completely wrong I'm guessing at a lot of things looking more into it I have completely decided now that this is a 909 car um, you could buy the Escort Cosworth in three models from Ford you could buy the standard the Lux and the Motorsport a Motorsport came built by Ford and it was basically ready for rally prep and you could go out with it now the difference between a 909 and a Motorsport is that a 909 was supplied as a part over the parts counter um, I'll put up on screen the clip from the Ford catalog at the time and you can see all the part numbers and what you could order I'm pretty sure now that this is a 909 car it would have come with that 909 and whichever derivative it was stamped on the um, on a plate on this front panel that's long gone I don't know whether it would have had a VIN number and a plate at some point whether they just put plates on it. it it really there's not a lot of way of tracking but there's no evidence that um, chassis numbers have been removed and that's why I think this is 100% a 909 and not a motorsport uh, the motorsport would have been built by Ford registered and come with chassis numbers the 909 didn't so it depends who's got it as to what was stamped on them um, but it would have been riveted on a plate on the front panel so that could have been just lost to time now I'm conscious that this build's starting to move quite quickly now and we're starting to move forwards so what I wanted to do before we lose the history and lose kind of the opportunity to do this um, I'm going to start sanding the paint back and I'm just going to take back layer after layer at a time until we get down to bare metal uh, and we'll just see if we can reveal any numbers any different colours of paint or previous colours the car's been just see what we can turn up there so that's what I'm going to get on with this week um, I'm not going to go back and edit this and change it if we turn up something I'm fully expecting just to sand through white paint um, I think that's that's what we're going to find I suspect the front wings have been changed before on this car so I won't be putting a lot of time and effort into taking the paint off them I think we've really got we've got the roof and we've got the rear quarter panels I think they're the ones where we're going to find anything if we do um, I am kind of fully expecting to just sand through layer after layer of white paint though really so hopefully it'll be a bit more interesting but possibly not first things first though I'm going to get these wheels off and I'm going to put it up on axle stands um... at this stage I am completely guessing at the car's history I don't really know a lot about it I'm suspecting that Kevin got it from somebody who got it from somebody um, who maybe got it from somewhere using it as a passenger car so I think up to maybe 2000 this was used as a passenger car because the door bars had been cut out 
but again that's that's just another guess somebody might have cut them out because they were awkward might have been damaged I've got no idea I think it was raced up until then it'd be interesting to find some of its racing history or even where it went to I have ruled out that it was a Silverstone car it definitely wasn't owned by them and I don't think it was Brands Hatch but it could have been So, so far we've got that patch on the roof where it is just primer then white. We've gone along here and taken off a bit of, of a slightly grey was on it to reveal a bit more primer and white. Um, there are bits of bare metal that have come through here and there's nothing really underneath. It's, it's kind of all white here. Um, the one thing that was puzzling me is along this back edge of the roof we've got a little bit of red there um, and I've gone down to I think some sort of filler there I think there's been some sort of repair so I'm going to have a look at somewhere else on the roof um, and see I'm, I'm going to go around the other side and I'm going to start start on the other quarter panel and just see see if that turns up anything I mean, it would be nice to find something like a Repsol paint job underneath this, but I'm not holding my breath. Um, all those cars are probably accounted for, and if not, they were probably stripped of all the all the livery before they were painted. I don't know whether they were just stuck on with graphics, mostly at the time. Let's see what this turns up. I think it's going to be more white, to be honest. By this point I'm really starting to resent this canary yellow paint. It's horrible stuff to sand, it's really tough and thick and it's a real thick layer of it. It's, it's, it's way thicker than you'd think. If anybody knows what type of paint this canary yellow is, please leave me something in the comments to say, oh this magic stuff you can buy from wherever will just wipe it straight off that would be fantastic um, it's it's a real hard job to remove not going to lie I'm a bit bored of sanding now and it's, it's getting hard work so I think because the paint's so thick in places what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back we'll never rest <laughs> Then I'm going to come back and I'll get the spot blaster on it. That might be tomorrow. I kind of don't want to do that just in case I blow through all the paint. Um, we don't kind of reveal what colours are underneath this. But I'm, I'm suspecting, I'm suspecting this car's just going to have been white, and it would have had like graphics put on, like vinyl decals. Um, We'll see though, I'll get, I'll get the spot blaster, I'll just come back a bit later, probably tomorrow and I'll, I'll see what we can reveal. <sighs> I didn't even have a break, it was like a man on a mission at this stage, I just wanted to get that canary yellow off and see what was underneath. I have been told the car's just all white underneath and I've got no reason to believe it wasn't but I still wanted to get it off and actually see for myself what was down there so I thought I'd just blow th straight through try and get down to metal and see all the layers that were underneath it but had I just made a discovery so I guess this isn't exactly what I was expecting to see we've got the top of yellow we've got grey primer and then obviously the car was white I think this is a deep fill primer here uh, there's another layer of white and then we have this thin layer of orange here um, I, I've blown through that quite quickly in the middle and that's why I wanted to sand it rather than just go through with the spot blaster like that but I thought it'd be good to just get the 
bit taken off aggressively with the spot blaster and make sure I'm not wasting hours and hours to find layer after layer of white. But yeah, we've got that layer of orange. Um, it doesn't to me look like a filler or a primer. That looks like orange paint to me. It looks like that's the graphics that may have been painted on this car. Um, you've got another layer of white. I don't know whether that's another colour of paint underneath that. Um, there's a bit more white. I think that's filler there. And then it looks like more white underneath. We haven't reached bare metal still. There's quite some layers. You can feel what I've cut into there. Um, it, it, it has got quite a thick number of layers of built up on it. So there's obviously some sort of paint job under the yellow, but I wonder whether we can just kind of keep going and taking it back or whether we're lost. I'll move the camera down anyway so you can have a, a closer look. Oof. See what I've see what I mean about the you got this yellow top coat primer a white coat of paint there's a bit more of what I, I think that's a deep fill primer I don't think it was painted that beige yellow um, that's another coat of white you've got that orange there on top of white straight on the white so I think that's some sort of graphics um, and then yeah we've got is that another I'm not sure whether that's primer, primer, white, filler, white. So yeah, that, that's, that's a good indication into the history actually. That's not what I was expecting to see. Um, I'm going to have a break and then I'll continue a bit more, I think. Who am I kidding? I couldn't wait to find out. I'm gonna spot blast a bit further along here back. And then I'm going to carefully sand and I'm going to see if I can unveil more of what the orange is. This is actually turning out more interesting than I thought. Well, it is to me because it's not just all white. This might make for a really boring video for you, but for me, this is quite exciting. I'm quite tense now because I, I really didn't expect to find anything and I don't want to just blow through this layer of orange because it is just like a, a quick kind of graphics thin layer so I don't want to just blow through it and hide what anything that might give it away could be um, I, I have no idea it, it looks I'm not even going to say it but if you know you know that would be weird So before I blow through that one as well, what I've just done and uncovered there, this is this is getting more and more surreal. What that is, you can see there's red starting to come through there. And we've got orange. Now that's a giveaway. I, I really wasn't expecting this, but that, that could be a real giveaway. This might be a real interesting video, to be fair. I'm so careful now and I've got to go slower because I was expecting just white after white and it's not. There's, there's, this has had a lot of paint jobs. Whew. 
I don't wanna I don't wanna go at it too much around that speed line just in case I completely blow through that red, because that red's another interesting one to me. It looks like it's had a red and white paint job. Oh man. I was expecting this to be quite boring and it's it's getting quite interesting. Um and it's giving away parts of the history of the car, which is even better. That orange is that orange is actually a couple of layers deeper than the red there, I think. And down here it's red and it's red and white. Just yeah. There's the edge of the red. So it's not the red that's like there's red right along here it's not the red that's particularly exciting because i know there was plenty of red cars but it would be good if we could just scrape that yellow and primer back because i think the red has been a couple of paint jobs after after this orange the orange is the one that's interesting to me and that's because it doesn't seem to be a primer color Yes, this is like automotive archaeology at its finest. I was thinking I was just blowing through a layer of red there with not even noticing, but I think actually the red was painted to around here. I think it's, it was like masked in a line, I think. I mean, some of that does look a bit red, but it, it doesn't seem to have much of a layer. Like, surely there would be more if the whole lot was painted red, I think it would be more like this. Because that red does, it seems to be wavy up and down a bit. Could have just been cut in to the original paint. Um, now it looks like we've blown straight into some sort of repair there, like a more recent one. Give it a bit of a sand. See if we can turn anything up. It does look a bit bluey. I think I'm gonna call it a day for a bit because I've kind of uncovered a lot more than I expected to here with all these colors. Um, that's kind of the first one. Not a lot. And then we got through that and I found this orange. Then lower down here, it's had that red almost just over the speed line, I think. Um, and then down here, we, we seem to have a totally different pattern again, whether that's a grey underneath or whether it's just primer. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an electric sander. I'm going to get that and I'll come back. Maybe not today. I might give it a rest for today. Maybe get the electric sander out tomorrow and see how we go. But that's not what I expected. That's absolutely not kind of what I thought we'd find at all. I was expecting white on white on more white but get through some of the white and we've got this orange we've got the red we've got a possible gray there but that might just be a primer or something or a filler just down here the orange and the red though are what's interesting to me so if you think you know which car it might be or you have any type of idea Drop something in the comments or pictures in the comments, that'd be great. Um, if, if you know where to look for a giveaway kind of decal on the car or a giveaway piece of graphics in the, that might have been in the paint, um, I'll definitely go and send a spot there and we'll see. But yeah, that's uh, I think that's me for today. 
maybe I might come back later we'll see anyway this horrible canary yellow paint is quite hard going to sand through I'm not sure what it is so I thought I would save a bit of time maybe and I would get myself some paint thinners just to have a go at it with um, so I'm going to do a test bit right at the end of the quarter panel here see what it takes off and where we end up with maybe we'll get down to that really nice revealing paint job really quickly so let's crack on and see what's underneath reveal a bit more you know i just couldn't wait i'm like absolutely dying to know what's under this Yeah, it's moving it a bit. Yeah, it'll take that red off there. It will be a lot easier than the yellow. Typical. I'm bothered about what's under that. not as quick as I'd liked it to have been so I'm gonna now I've softened it up a bit with that though, I'm gonna hit it with the sandpaper and see if it's helped so I'm wondering if it was that dark gray purpley gray kind of color I, I think that's a I think it's a primer um, let me know what you think anyway has it been painted that colour or is that a primer? I think it's a primer. A bit more red up here. I'm wondering if the red maybe finishes there because it was sanded. I think it's going to take a long time to get down to anything much more significant and meaningful. Um, so I'm going to start hitting it with the electric sander tomorrow. See what comes out. <laughs> 